for Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right, I'm going to do a reading for you and your partner. This is for a relationship reading, a love reading. And then after this, it's going to be for singles. So if you're not in a relationship, you can scroll um, further on into the other one. All right, so for you, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're feeling trapped in this relationship, right? You got the Tower, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords to me is like somebody who's angry, somebody who just wants to run, right? But somebody who also runs without thinking first. The Eight of Swords is trapped, you know, trapped in your thoughts too, because swords are about thoughts and mind. Did I say that right? Swords are about your thoughts and like your mind communication and stuff like that. So I feel like maybe there's not much communication or maybe not good communication coming through or you're not saying what you want to say and it's making you feel stuck. You got the tower. This is like massive change, right? I feel like you change. You might have changed the way that you felt. You might have changed the way that you do things. The Queen of Pentacles is about focusing on yourself. You might be working a lot, overworking, overstressing, overdoing it. Over. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's like very, very focused. Um, concentrated on herself, you know, worried about doing what they got to do for them. The person that you're with, you got the two of swords, the high priestess, the page of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. All right, so the page of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, I feel like maybe they're starting their own business, all right, the person that you're with. It, can, it doesn't have to be a new business, but maybe they're trying new things and it's going to work out for them. I don't know, maybe you guys had a conversation or are going to have a conversation about how to handle certain things, maybe... This is what's needed to happen. So maybe I feel like you guys have to have a conversation, right? To try something new with the Page of Pentacles. And this is going to bring you the new start, right? The Two of Swords and the High Priestess, I feel like they need to listen to their intuition about something that they're feeling stuck at. You're both feeling stuck. They're stuck on Two of Swords. You're stuck on the Eight of Swords. So you guys are both not communicating what you truly feel to each other. And the High Priestess is like, the other person knows what you're doing. The other person knows what you're thinking, right? But I don't feel like they're saying it. They know it all, but they say nothing, right? All right, so your situation, three of swords, the lovers, temperance, this of cups. All right, so the three of swords is something is in the way of what you're trying to get. It's a third party situation. It doesn't have to be cheating. It doesn't have to be, you know, another person. It can be another person, like maybe friends are saying too much, maybe, you know, um, putting stuff in your head. People are getting involved in your relationship that should only be you. It can also mean cheating, that maybe somebody is not really being so honest. But this is also ju just about being disappointed, heartbroken, stuck over a love situation, not sure where to go, right? And I, you know, you got the Ace of Cups and the Lover. I feel like this person, you know, I feel like you guys do love each other. You guys definitely want to start something new. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. You also might be starting your own business together. I feel like a thought turned to reality in this situation right here with the person that you're dealing with. But uh, the, the lovers and the Ace of Cups is like, I feel like you guys, the temperance card, just need to find balance and, and try to do things a little bit more evenly. Uh, maybe it's a little bit one-sided right now and maybe that's the thing that needs to change. I feel like somebody's doing too much and maybe somebody's not doing enough, right? Actions and advice, the eight of, <laughs> okay, the eight of wands, communication. That's why I said you guys are having communication for your advice is the eight of wands. So definitely the universe is saying go ahead and speak your truth. Say what you got to say because if you don't say what you got to say, nothing's going to get fixed because not everybody's a mind reader. You have the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. This is like focus on yourself, focus on your career. Also, the King of Pentacles is somebody who works so much that they focus only on their money, right? and their career that they kind of forget about their other responsibilities. I don't know who needs to hear that. It might be you or the person that you're with, but somebody is focusing too much on their career, uh, too much on their work, and they might not be really um, do, doing their other responsibilities. It could mean you're not fulfilling their, you know, your love situation. Maybe you're not spending enough time with the person, all right? So maybe you're not spending enough time with your kids, anything like that. Maybe you're not doing, taking enough breaks for yourself. The Emperor, you might be dealing with an Aries, a fire, oh, uh, Aries, yes, the Emperor. But the Emperor's advice is just saying, you know, stand your ground and do what you got to do for you. Don't hold back. Find that passion, that spark inside of you and light that up and then just do what you got to do to get yourself where you need to be. Um, which I feel like it's just like some, some words just need to be said. I feel like you guys are holding back.
Yeah, and then you got the sun in the arm that just fell out, which just tells me it's what I'm saying is true. It's clarity. It's just saying, yes, things will get better for you guys, but you have to speak to each other, all right? I am going to, and I mean, you might also end the relationship. Who knows? I mean, everybody's different, but I feel like words need to be said so this way you guys can at least be happy, be able to move on in whatever way that you choose to go together or apart. Uh, I'm going to pull some love um, cards for you guys. And then I'm going to do the singles. Love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. I feel like you guys need to tell each other that you love each other a little bit more. Maybe you guys hold that back. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I feel like there is love here, like I said. Seduction. Attraction. Flirting. Dating. Hooking up. Temptation. Third party interference. There could be a third party interference, especially with the three of swords. If that is the case... Maybe this might be a love call from somebody else, or maybe you might find out about this love through a call, right? But if not, this is saying that if you are trying to make your relationship work, maybe you need to go out and date a little bit more, like with each other. <laughs> I'm not saying with other people. You know, go out more together, spend more time together. That's what I got for you guys for your own um, relationships. Um, now I'm going to do for the singles. Coffee cup, this is about connections, going on dates, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Alright, so you might have you might know this person already, or you might develop a very quick friendship with this person. Soulmates. <laughs> soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Alright, so you guys definitely are meant to be. This person that's coming in for you is definitely a soulmate. Could be also a twin flame. You have both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So I feel like there's definitely a new love coming in for you, arriving. And then you have camera, reminiscing, keep safe, perception, learn from the past and make memories. So it's like just don't repeat any of the situations that didn't work out before in the past to right now. So it's like try new things, make new memories, you know. You got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So this person that's coming in for you is all good cards and there's not a lot of good cards in that um, deck. <laughs> so... That's good. So what else about this person? The hair thing. This person might be religious or very just kind of um, somebody that other people look up to. The Five of Pentacles. This person might be having some type of financial struggle right now or might have lost a home or lost a job at this moment. So they might be at the point where they're um, really needing help but might not be asking for it. You got the Five of Cups, yeah, they're sad because they lost something or someone, or whatever it was, they could have lost a job. Like I said, with the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles back to back, I feel like they lost the job, lost some type of money, lost their home. But with the Eight of Pentacles, they're definitely focused right now. They're focused on their goal, on their career, on whatever they're doing. They're trying to build themselves back up, build their money back up. Really, really focused. This person's very focused, but they're going through a lot of stuff, but they're not letting that down. What else? The Seven of Wands. They set up some boundaries around themselves, all right? Uh, maybe other people have hurt them in the past, but they got the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person might be somebody that might be messaging you pretty soon, right? With the Page of Pentacles. This is something, um, <clears throat> this is also about learning something new, trying something new, but I feel like when this new message comes in for you with the Ace of Pentacles, it's going to open new doors for you. I feel like this person is going to be really good for you because you don't got nothing but good cards. You got soulmate, boat, camera, coffee cup, like meeting up, like, you know, he's a little sad or she's a little sad, whoever the case may be. But I feel like, you know, any, all that can be fixed, yeah. Page of Wands, definitely a message coming in. Definitely a message coming in for you of love. The Magician, you manifested this, all right? So maybe you've been praying, asking the universe, asking the angels, your ancestors, whoever, God. It's like you are asking for this, you've been praying and wanting this, focused on this, and I feel like it's finally going to come through. The Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so there is an offer of love coming in for you from this person. This person's very focused, very career-oriented. You got the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, Nine and Ten of Pentacles. This person might have their own business. They might be very rich. Who knows? But I feel like this person that's coming in for you is going to be very... Um, down-to-earth, grounded, because they all, you know, Pentacles are also about, like, um, 
it's earth. So I feel like they're going to be very, um, how do you want to call it? Determined, very, um, a hard worker, somebody that doesn't give up, somebody for pushes for what they want, right? So this person is going to be a very good person coming in for you. Um, not getting any sun. You know? The hair sign. I don't know what sign the hair sign is. Embrace. I'm still new with this. Embrace enthusiasm. Shout out to the heavens with happiness. So it's like live your life happily no matter what. Even if things are not working out for you, be happy for just being able to be here. It's like once you find the joy and happiness in everything, even in the things that suck, it's like more happy things will come to you and you'll be a lot more um, happy. <laughs> Then you got stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. This just says really stand up for yourself, okay? You might allow other people to kind of walk all over you. This is saying now is the time to stand up for yourself. I'm not saying the next person that comes up to you is going to be the person that I'm talking about. So really keep you really listen to your intuition with the hero friend card as well that popped up. Listen to your intuition as um, to who it is because the next person that comes in is definitely going to be a good one. So. Anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching, and have a good day, and toodles. Thank you.